All right, hey guys. Um, so I'm going to be doing a quick uh, tutorial on how to start up the L39. I'm going to move this over here. So it may be a little bit difficult for you guys to read some of this, so I'm going to go through this step by step on how to start up the L39 and get this thing up in the air. So first off, when we get into the plane, uh, obviously the canopy is open. I check and make sure all of our switches are off. And then, um, obviously, throttles uh, in the stop position, fuel. Uh, it's supposed to be in the cutoff position, but um, we can go ahead and leave that in the open position. So, I know it's going to be kind of hard to read this, so I'll just go down every single step. Did I already say that? I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to go down every single step and just make sure that uh, everything is covered for this startup. So, first thing we'll do, canopy open. Main switch panels are off. Batteries on. The rear cockpit switch uh, can't really adjust that because I've got it set to a solo cockpit, so I can't get into the back seat. I don't think. No, I can't. Okay, so uh, can't get into the back seat. So we'll skip those two steps. Oxygen supply is located here. So we've got plenty of oxygen and um, we don't have any flow right now because the plane's not on so after that we'll go fuel shut off which is forward we've already verified that pitot heat is off that's these two little green squares back here pitot heat's off instrument lights are not required and landing light is off so now we'll go to the main panel front panel instrument panel whatever you want to call it um, we'll reset the G meter and altimeter. We'll set that to 2995, or sorry, 2992. Sorry, I've got ATIS going. Um, I've created an ATIS for Katasi where I'm where I'm at, and don't want that going on here in a second. <laughs> um, and altimeter set, radar altimeter. We're gonna keep that at 300 and then the flare master arm is down here at the bottom uh, oh no sorry that's not it uh, I just forgot where the flare master arm is I want to say it's that we'll keep that down um, alright so the right console Pressurization is off. Anti-ice is off. Nav lights are off. And hydraulic levers are forward. So now looking back at the main panel. So we'll go from left to right. Um, let me zoom in here. Uh, hydraulic system fill lights on. Generator lights on. The don't start light is on. Emergency generator is on. Cockpit unlocked is on, an inverter fail is on. Going to the right side. Inverter fail number two is on. Uh, engine minimum oil pressure light is on. Air conditioner off light is on. So now we'll come down here to the right side. Engine on. So you should start to hear like the engine kind of uh, powering on. Um, it hasn't started yet, but this is just getting the electrical systems on. And uh, the don't start light should go off in a few seconds. So, yep, it was right here. It's already off. And then the inverter fail light, which was up here, is off. So we're good to start. Um, fuel quantity, we can't check that just yet. So we'll go to the throttle and we'll set it to idle. Check our volts, make sure we've got plenty of volts, and we do. The aft canopy is closed. Uh, we've already made sure of that. So let's go over here to the lights. We'll turn on the, the uh, flicker lights, make them strobe. Let's everybody know that we're starting up. Then we'll come over to the left side, do turbo. We'll hold that. It's starting to spoil up. Now what you'll see is this, uh, your RPM 
should start to climb a little bit. And then what we're really waiting for is this yellow light here to light up saying uh, turbine starter. So that means you're good to start your engine. So we'll come back over here to the left side. Flip that up. Hold it for two seconds. And you should hear the engine start spooling up now. And we're going to watch our RPMs as they rise. Okay, engine started. Our exhaust heat's climbing. There's our fuel gauge. We're full on fuel. Turbine starter goes out. And our oil pressures look good. They're all settled. Now the uh, hydraulic failure light went out and the minimum oil pressure went out. So now we can start turning on all of our generators and the inverters, which are the next row back, and our canopy. Sorry guys, I'm having to <laughs> use my mouse. Um, all right, so now that the canopy is closed, we'll come over to the left side. We'll hit this red handle that locks it in place. Then we'll do our pressurization, which is down here. We'll push that forward all the way. Um, and this checklist, this was made for the L39 that was on P3D, so the, like the GNS430 and stuff like that. Um, if you're flying the C variant, that all works. Um, but with the ZA variant here on DCS, we don't have the 430. So um, we just kind of skip over that. But we can go um, to the D-Ice, which is down here. DI switch. We'll go radar altimeter, AOA sensors, One radios. Zero. Temperature 25, 2.7. Altimeter 2992. VFR departures and arrivals on runways. There we go. Um, and then turn on the rest of these switches. And then if you want, you can use your wingtip tanks. Um, I do at takeoff, but that's just kind of a personal preference. But now we've got the L39 started up and ready to go. Um, one thing you can check is, one thing that I always check anyway, is you can see this little tab that's right here. Um, Maybe a little difficult to see. But that lets you know if your flaps are down. Um, and so you can do is do a flap test go all the way up now your little uh, indicator there's gone you go back to half because you, you're going to take off with half anyway so uh, and there it's just halfway out so uh, that's what I use to get the L39 started um, that's just my my tips are uh, my startup process. Uh, that beeping there is the radar altimeter letting you know. It's just basically a test to show that it's, it is working. Um, but other than that, I think that's all I've got for starting up the L39. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments and um, I can probably address it in another video. But I think it's going to do it for me, guys, and have a great day. So